In today's video, I'll talk about what you can and can't do after having a reverse total shoulder replacement. The reverse total shoulder replacement is usually used for patients who have a really bad rotator cuff tear along with some arthritis in the shoulder. And these patients are usually really limited. They can't reach overhead, they can't lift and carry things, and they just will typically say that they don't feel like they have any strength in their shoulder. So why a shoulder replacement? Why not just repair the torn rotator cuff? Well, in these cases, the rotator cuff tear is just too severe to repair. There's not enough material there to really viably stitch together. The reverse total shoulder replacement changes the biomechanics of the shoulder, so we don't need the rotator cuff. The deltoid muscle takes over for the damaged rotator cuff, restoring shoulder function and range of motion. Now, physical therapy after this surgery generally progresses through three stages. An early post-op stage, about weeks four to six, a range of motion stage about six to 12 weeks post-op, and then a strengthening phase 12 to 16 weeks. In today's video, I'll talk about what I have my patients do in that first post-op stage, that early post-op stage, weeks four to six. What should you be doing? What shouldn't you be doing? Okay, first, what can't you do, at least temporarily, after having a reverse total shoulder replacement? Okay, first off, no reaching with the hurt arm for about four to six weeks from the time of surgery. So unless it's an exercise you've been instructed in by your therapist or surgeon, or it's something your therapist is doing with you, no reaching with the hurt arm for about a month to month and a half from surgery, okay? Number two, no bearing weight through the hurt arm. Okay, so for example, leaning on the countertop for about four to six weeks from surgery. Also, Always have your sling on, except for therapy, home exercises, and bathing. Slings on the whole time for this first phase. Now, a little longer term, and for about 12 weeks from the time of surgery, we don't want you reaching in two specific directions for fear that you might dislocate the new shoulder. So across and behind, as if you're trying to tuck in a shirt, and across and in front, as if you're grabbing for the seatbelt. Both of these movements stretch some of the tissue that was cut through to get those new parts in, and the shoulder can dislocate if they're not healed enough. That takes about 12 weeks. So again, avoid reaching across and in front, across and behind for 12 weeks from the time of surgery. So what can you do after having a reverse total shoulder? So number one, grip strengthening. So you'll probably be given like a stress ball that will fit right into your sling, or you can just use a hand towel dish rag like I have here and simply squeeze it as hard as you can. Hold for five to 10 seconds, relax. Squeeze, hold five to 10 seconds, relax. Do about 10 to 20 of these three to four times per day. Elbow range of motion is super important and we often lose it because we're in this sling all day, 24 seven. So really simply, when you're out of your sling, straighten the elbow all the way, bend the elbow all the way. Go through the entire arc of movement 20, 25 times, you know, again, three to four times per day. Seems simple, it seems silly, but again, it will really help you prevent that elbow stiffness that is very common. Now, I know I said earlier, no reaching. Well, here's one of the exceptions, okay? Here's one of the kind of sneaky workarounds we have to allow some reaching in this early post-op stage. I like to use a stability ball with this. If you don't have a stability ball, I'll explain a different version. So anyway, if my left arm is my hurt arm, the weight of my arm is resting on the ball and I'm simply gonna lean forward a bit at my waist until I'm at about a 90 degree angle between my arm and my spine. That's all, not reaching really far, okay? Keeping it gentle. Lean forward, my shoulder's really not doing anything, okay? The weight of my shoulder is resting on the ball. The movement is being produced with my torso, okay? Now, if you don't have a stability ball, you can simply have your arm up on the table, have something to reduce friction, like a pillowcase, under your hand, and you simply slide forward on the table, again, to about a 90 degree bend at the shoulder, and back, back and forth, back and forth. Again, I like the ball for this one. It's just a little bit easier to do. It's easier to relax and do this uh, exercise with the ball than with uh, the hand on the table. About 20, 25 reps, four times a day. 
we want to start working the shoulder blade muscles. It's the shoulder blade muscles along with the deltoid that really make up for that rotator cuff that's no longer functioning. So we want to really get those going and we want to start to work on coordination of the shoulder blade. And here's our first effort. So with the arm resting at the side or in the sling, you're simply going to pull the shoulder blade down and in. Imagine about your four o'clock position for the shoulder blade. Hold for just a moment and then up and out. So imagine about the 10 or 11 o'clock position. Down and in, up and out. It's not a lot of movement. It feels a little awkward. Uh, it'll take some practice to do. But again, you can do this in the sling. So back and forth, or I should say up and down, about 20 to 25 times, again, four times a day. In this last exercise, we're gonna start to work the deltoid muscle a little bit. Now you'll remember from the intro that it's the deltoid muscle that takes over for the damaged rotator cuff. So we definitely wanna get strength back in the deltoid, but we have to do it gradually and carefully. And here's our first effort to do so. So you want a sturdy object. I'm gonna use my bench. You can use a door frame, a wall, something like that. And you're simply gonna push your elbow into that surface. Hold lightly, press lightly. You're not, you're not pushing with lots of force. It shouldn't hurt at all, okay? Hold five to 10 seconds, relax. We call this a sub-max isometric, sub-max. You're not pushing with all your might, not even close. Push, hold, five to 10 seconds. Also, I should be able to see my elbow when I look down. If I can't, it means my elbow's behind me. Now I'm violating one of those restrictions from earlier in the video. Avoid that. I should be able to see my elbow when I do this. Push into the surface, hold five to 10 seconds, relax. So those are the home exercises I give my patients who have just had a reverse total shoulder replacement. And again, the point of this stage is number one, protect the new shoulder, mind those restrictions. Number two, gently start to get the shoulder moving and very gently start to work on that deltoid muscle. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it helps you get back to what you love to do. Like, subscribe, send this video to a friend, and we'll see you next time.